you're watching DMM TV. Up next, the Wisconsin Sub Puppet Theater. Prostate Awareness Edition. Sponsored locally by Captain Winky's Fish Beer. You socks need to settle down right now. now. I understand that you're scared and everything because you're aliens on a foreign planet and all that, but I think you'll feel a little bit better once you learn some more about Earth. Now, I think the best way to do that would be to watch some television. Hey, what's the big idea? We were watching that. All right, so was the TV helpful? You guys a little more calm down now? Mm, actually, yes. It would seem in the last hour we have learned everything there is to know about your Earth culture. All right, well, that's great. That's awesome. Um, let's see, it's just about time for me to go to work, so uh, what am I going to do with you guys in the meantime? Hey, what's got some sock puppet theater? We'll be right back. Ahoy there, mateys! You know, after a long day of pirating, I'm left with a thirst not even the seven seas could quench. That's what I reach for. Captain Winky's fish beer. Ah, it's the only beer that's brewed in the hull of my ship using fresh fish, hops, and seawater. Ah, for that salty sea taste! And it's so refreshing, even the land lovers will want a swig. <laughs> ah, you love Captain Winky's fish beer, or my name is Captain Winky. We now return to the Wisconsin Side Puppet Theater. Alright, now guys, I'm sorry to have to do this to you. I just have to make sure that you stay out of trouble, don't do anything crazy while I'm gone at work. I'll let you out as soon as I get home, okay? Alright, now I better get going. Oh, crap, I'm super late. Now I just have to find my keys. Oh, man, where are my keys? Shit, I'm so late. Alright, I'm gonna have to run to work. You guys stay put till I get back. Man, who does he think he is, locking us in here like some animals? Wait a minute, sir. I think I have an idea. Huh? Uh, <laughs> Alright, you're free. Alright. Those are some pretty awesome moves, Johnson. Oh, why, thank you, sir. Now, to steal Nick's car and make our way out of here. Well, how are we gonna manage to do that, sir? Well, before he could lock us in the cage, I managed to grab these. Nice. Alright, Johnson, quickly, to Nick's car. Hey, what's Johnson? Stop puppet theater, we'll be right back. Man, 
wish we had some better fudge. Yeah, man, this fudge is lame. Fudge Baron! Yes, that's right. Now try my fudge. It's new chocolate monkey mud. Swinging fudge. Approved by the Fudge Baron. Here's how it works. Fistful of my fudge. Now, fling that fudge. Oh. Your kids will love my fudge so much. They want you to pack their fudge for them for lunch every day. And now, with fudge tracking court, you know when you're passing that fudge log. Thanks for the day. Inside public theater. Oh man, I'm gonna be late. Come on, Johnson, quickly, into the next car. Oh, well, yes, sir. Is everything looking good down there? Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, everything looks all set to go. Oh man, I'm gonna be so late. Now, to continue my plans of taking over this stupid planet. Oh, hey, my cell phone's ringing. Hello? Nick, this is your boss. Uh, You're late again. That's the seventh time this week. Sir, if you could just give me one more chance. No more excuses. You're fine. Oh, uh, whoops. Oh, dropped my cell phone there. Guess I'll bend over and pick it up here. Look out! Oh. Oh. Hey guy, how you feeling? Oh, terrible. I had the worst dream. I was running to work and I was late and my boss fired me over the phone and then these two little horrible socks from outer space ran me over with my own car. Oh man, that sucks. Hey, it's you! Uh, 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 I'm sorry, we were just scared and trying to escape. But you were in an accident, and you're in the hospital now. The doctor is coming in, so you should listen to him. <sighs> uh, hi there, Nick. I'm Dr. Finger. Hi, nice to meet you, Doc. Alright. Give it to me straight. Now look, I got some bad news for you. It would appear that your ass was ran over. <gasps> Even worse, you've ruptured your prostate. There's only one way to fix that, and that's with a prostate transplant. Unfortunately, the waiting list is years and years long. Oh my god, that's horrible. Yes, yeah, truly a travesty. Wait a minute, I just had an idea. Each of us socks are actually born with two prostates, and we only need one to function. Ah yes, that could be our solution. I believe Johnson here would be happy to give you one of his prostates. Uh, well I was thinking since maybe you were the one who ran him over... Good, it's settled then. Alright, doctor, cut him up. Hmm, this sounds like the riskiest surgery I've ever attempted to do. But what the heck, let's take a crack at it. Alright, it looks like the surgery was a success. Your new prostate should be fully functional within a few days. Alright, well I'm glad that whole ordeal's over with. Looks like I'll be headed home now, I guess, and I'm looking for a new job. Hey, uh, Johnson and I were thinking that maybe we could go home with you. Yeah, Nick. We promise we won't be a problem or get in the way at all. Yeah, I'll even help you find a new job. Come on, what do you say? Hmm... Please! Oh, what the heck? I can't say no to you guys. Welcome to the family. Well, hi there, folks. I'm TV's Dr. Finger. I'm here to tell you about a little unknown organ called the prostate. Every year, tens of hundreds of baby boys are born, 
each of them with their own prostate nestled deep within them. Sadly, most of these boys pass into adulthood and are unaware of that sweet, sweet prostate. When harnessed properly, the prostate can be a powerful tool in a man's libido. Now it's important to keep your prostate healthy. I recommend getting a healthy amount of fish oils in your diet. A product like Captain Winky's fish beer would do. Keep you all lubed up downstairs. Also, making sure you have regular bowel movements and enough fiber in your diet is necessary. With products on the market today like Monkey Muck Fling and Fudge, you should be able to accomplish this in no time. And kids, if you're not quite sure where your prostate is, just ask your dad to show you.